U.S. officials have started pulling information from the computers and documents seized at Osama bin Laden's hideout. And already it has prompted them to issue advisories to the Burlington Northern Santa Fe Railroad, Union Pacific, CSX, Amtrak, and other railroads about a possible attack on a train, perhaps on the 10th anniversary of 9-11. Federal officials are not convinced so far that the possible plot was anything more than just talk by bin Laden and his cohorts. But given the potential for loss of life and, of course, the importance of the country's railroads uh, to the economy, they sent out a heads up just in case. There's also a report this morning that the CIA staked out bin Laden's compound for months before Sunday's attack. According to the New York Times, agents rented a house nearby to try to keep an eye on bin Laden. They were not able to confirm for most of that period that it was him, in fact, walking around the compound. Now, for more, Richard Falkenrath is on the phone. Richard was a Homeland Security Advisor in the Bush White House and Deputy Commissioner for Counterterrorism for the New York City Police Department. He's now a principal at the Chertoff Group and a contributing editor here at Bloomberg. So, Richard, we were just talking about bin Laden and what his capture meant a few days ago. Here on our show, you were sitting beside me. What does this latest revelation tell you that you didn't know then? Well, it tells us he was more involved in actual plotting or at least thinking about potential targets than we had assumed. You know, the conventional wisdom on bin Laden was that he was sort of detached from that. He left it to his deputies, and he himself was more of a figurehead. And this information, at least the first pass of it, sort of changes that assumption. So, so by, the, by, by virtue of the fact that it changes that assumption, does it consequently change uh, our thinking about the role in uh, about what may happen i mean if if uh, what i'm trying to say is that if bin laden was still a sort of linchpin in al-qaeda's efforts might his death disable their efforts somehow uh, maybe but what's more likely to disable is frankly what we find on those computers and if he had computers there and they do contain a lot of information information that will lead us to other operatives or sympathizers those people will now become the targets of major investigations and possible arrest or lethal strike. And so it's not so much his death in and of itself, it's the intelligence that seems to have come with uh, that raid, which they extracted uh, from the compound and went back to uh, the USS Vincent. The reports I read this morning suggest that the information about the railroads may have come from a quick translation from the Arabic of some notebooks found at the site. So. Given the fact that they seized a whole load of thumb drives, computers, and more documents than that, uh, would you expect at this point that we're going to find out much more, uh, I want to say interesting, but clearly it's much more than interesting uh, material from that trove of, inf of information? Yeah, definitely. That what's going on right now is something called DOCX, Document Exploitation. And it's a very systematic but time-consuming process where we go through the computer media to find out what's on there. The fact that this emerged so quickly suggests, A, that it wasn't encrypted, and B, that there was probably something like a photograph or some report that drew our attention to it more quickly. But I'm, I'm, having been involved in these sort of uh, situations in the past, I, I can guarantee there will be a lot more that comes out from this document exploitation effort. And I know that we will be talking about it. Richard, thanks very much. That's Richard Falkenrath. He's a Bloomberg contributing editor and a principal at the Chertoff Group.